Hello and welcome back to the Genomics Bootcamp. In this video, we will check out the top 10 genomics companies. In short, these are the companies that deal with genomics in some way or another. And if you know something about the area, then the first place will not surprise you. Uh, but, uh, well, I have to also tell that the margin with which this very well-known company won is uh, much smaller than I expected. But to give you actually a bonus and a little bit of quasi surprise or summary at the end, I will then also summarize the common traits between all of these genomics companies and their attributes. Before we get into it, I want to mention that this status is as of January 2025. As for the ranking, I have used the market capitalization also referred to as market cap. This method is basically assesses the company, company's overall value based on its most outstanding shares of stock. And because share prices change all the time, so does the market cap. Also for the record, I want to state that I know very little about stocks as such. And this video is definitely not an investment advice. So use any information in this video at your own risk. On place 10 in this ranking is Intelia Therapeutics with a market cap of 1 billion US dollars. A little bit of information about the company. So Intelia develops CRISPR-based therapies targeting genetic diseases, cancer, and autoimmune disorders through in vivo and ex vivo methods. The company uses proprietary lipid nanoparticles for precise gene editing and collaborates with industry leaders like Novartis and Regeneron. Research areas include hemophilia, alpha-1, antitrypsin deficiency, and advanced editing technologies like base editing and DNA writing. Number nine is Neogenomics with a market cap of 1.8 billion US dollars. Neogenomics is a CLIA certified clinical laboratory specializing in cancer genetics diagnostic testing, offering services such as cytogenetics, fish flow cytometry, and molecular genetics. Headquarters in Forest Myers, Florida, the company operates a network of testing facilities with labs across the U.S., including Florida, California, Tennessee, and Texas. Number eight is Beam Therapeutics with a market cap of 1.9 billion U.S. dollars. Beam Therapeutics has its headquarters in Cambridge, Massachusetts, specializes in gene therapies and genome editing using advanced CRISPR and prime editing technologies to modify single nucleotides without cutting DNA, potentially reducing off-target effects. Number seven is GeneScript Biotech Corporation. Well, this company is listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange with 20.9 billion Hong Kong dollars, and that is roughly 2.7 billion US dollars. GeneScript Biotech was founded in 2002 in New Jersey, as a biotech company specializing in life science research instruments and services. Listed in the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, its operations span in four segments, and that is Contract Development and Manufacturing Organization, or a CDMO, Life Science Services, Cell Therapy, and Industrial Synthetic Products. Global presence in countries like China, Singapore, and the UK. CRISPR Therapeutics is the next one, market cap of 3.5 billion US dollars. CRISPR Therapeutics is headquartered in Switzerland and is a pioneer in CRISPR gene editing with treatments for blood diseases, cancer, diabetes, and other severe conditions. Its lead therapy, Extracell, developed with Vertex Pharmaceuticals, treats beta thalassinemia and sickle cell disease. Exocell also has an orphan drug designation in the US and the EU. Here a bit of a side note just to tell what an orphan drug is. 
It is basically a treatment developed for rare diseases supported by regulatory incentives like tax credits and market exclusivity to encourage development despite limited patient populations. So basically these are drugs for diseases that are otherwise very rare. And from the market perspective, it would not make sense to make them because you don't sell as much, but there are some incentives so that the companies basically develop these drugs and also, of course, helping those affected by these rare diseases. Crystal Biotech is the next one that is number five with a market cap of 4.3 billion US dollars. Crystal Biotech headquarters in Pittsburgh focuses on developing gene therapies for rare, rare diseases using its proprietary HSV1 based platform. Its flagship product is an FDA approved topical gene therapy for dystrophic epidermolysis bullosa, a severe skin condition. The company is expanding its pipeline to target other rare genetic disorders, including redosable gene therapy technology. Next one, number four, is Ionis Pharmaceuticals, market cap 5 billion US dollars. Ionis, headquartered in California, is a biotechnology company specializing in RNA-targeted therapeutics. The company focuses on developing antisense technology to treat various diseases, including neurological, cardiovascular, and rare genetic disorders. Ionis has developed several FDA-approved therapies, for example, for spinal muscular atrophy and hereditary transthyretin amyloidosis. In December 2024, Ionis received FDA approval for its first wholly owned drug for familial chylomicronemia syndrome. And we are in the top three. Blueprint Medicines Corporation, market cap of 7 billion US dollars. The company itself is based in Cambridge, Massachusetts, develops precision therapies for genomically defined cancers and rare diseases. It has approved treatments for systemic mastocytosis and certain gastrointestinal tumors and also for red altered cancers. The company focuses on kinase inhibitors to target specific genetic drivers of the disease. Number two is the company Natara with a market cap of whopping 20.9 billion US dollars. Natura is based in Austin, Texas, specializes in non-invasive cell-free DNA testing for women's health, oncology, and organ health. The company develops advanced genetic tests for prenatal screening, cancer detection, recurrence monitoring, and organ transplant rejection. It operates CAP-aggregated CLIA certified labs in California and Texas, and offers a cloud-based bioinformatics platform for use in international labs. And as you might have expected, the number one and the top genomics company in the world currently is Illumina, with a market cap of 21.7 billion US dollars. Illumina was founded in 1998 and headquartered in San Diego, California, and it is the leading biotechnology company specializing in DNA sequencing and array-based technologies for genetic analysis. The company serves over 155 countries, providing products and services for sequencing, genotyping, gene expression, and proteomics. In 2007, Illumina acquired Solexa, further enhancing its sequencing capabilities. Illumina's technologies are directly involved in advancing various fields, such as oncology, genetic disease research, infectious disease studies, reproductive health, and agriculture. So these were the top genomics companies, and at the end, the promised bonus, and that is the similarities between these companies. First and foremost, all of them are very innovative, so they focus on cutting-edge technologies and nowadays that is CRISPR and sequencing. The topic of precision medicine came up a few times, so they develop personalized therapies for complex diseases. They have a strong R&D departments with heavy investments in research for new solutions. 
Many times they collaborate with various partners from academia and industry, and also they tend to have very comprehensive offerings providing diagnostics, therapies, and also bioinformatic tools. So I want to end it here. If you like the video, press the like button. If you like the channel, press the subscribe button. And if you extra like the channel, just check out the join button below this video with the offer of channel memberships. For now, from my side, I thank you for your time and I wish you a really nice day.